Francis Ude. I work with this uh, special school, inclusive. I'm one of the teachers. I feel great. I feel good because this is one of the welcome developments. The learning place started, the foundation and red text follow. We are very happy, and of course, you can see how the children are rejoicing. Once you put smile on this. The life of these children, you have equally put it on we teachers. We are rejoicing this morning. Yeah, my name is Ronnie Egboge. I'm the chair of Retech Foundation. Retech Foundation, um, our mission is to is to reduce reduce poverty, uh, reduce hunger, improve quality of education, um, and basically reduce inequality in the country. Um, we have basically picked this project to do because we very much believe in neurodiversity. We believe all kids have special skills which must be harnessed and which must be nurtured to, make, to, get, um, to give them the best version of themselves. So we feel that this occupational therapy center, that there's a need to come and improve and renovate this center, um, because we know that it would help the kids with sensory regulation, um, improved motor skills, we know that it would help the kids with being independent, self-care. We know that it will improve their social skills and social interaction. We also feel that there was a need to include a, a sensory room in this occupational therapy center because we know the benefits of sensory room on new diverse kids. And we know that it would help with their communication skills. We know it would help with their calming skills, help with sleeping, help with improving their intelligence and basically exploring their senses. So this is a very personal project, personally for me and for Retech Foundation. And we're happy and we are thankful to the, the Learning Place for allowing us to partner with them uh, to renovate this occupational therapy center. Thank you. My name is Bolandi Adewale. I'm the director of the Learning Place Center, Lekki Lagos. Our journey with the inclusive unit of the Maryland School started in 2013 with the renovation of their building and um, donation of windows, materials, and just making sure that the um, entire premises was fit for purpose. We also donated to their playground at the time and just made sure that everything was working. We moved on with our first partnership in 2015 and donated the occupational therapy room of the inclusive units, which they have used since 2015 to date. This year, we got um, a new collaborator, Retech Foundation, who have supported us as well in renovating and refurbishing the occupational therapy room that we see today. But not only is it an occupational therapy room now, it's also a sensory room because we've added a sensory part to the occupational therapy room. And for this, we're very excited. We have trained the Lagos State School teachers for the past nine years consistently. The only year we missed it was in the COVID year, but other than that, we have consistently trained 64 teachers of the Lagos State School at no cost to them. So this is because we're invested in making sure that the teachers are working appropriately with the students and they're making the best use of the materials and they know how to interact with children in a way for them to properly internalize the concepts that are being presented to them. So we are excited about this um, collaboration with Retech Foundation and this is the beginning of the journey. We know that we're going to go much further with them and we thank them very, very much for this initiative. We will keep them informed. We'll make sure that we use all the things that they have donated here and we'll just make sure that we are uh, keeping our students stimulated at all times at the Maryland Inclusive Units of the Lagos State Schools in Maryland, Lagos. Thank you.